Hey everyone, welcome to my channel where I decided to be binging with Babish for a day. That's right, this is a cooking video. I recently reached 2,000 subscribers and my first video reached 200,000 views, which is just unbelievable. So to celebrate, I decided to do something completely stupid and pointless and make some recipes inspired by Trail to Oregon. Without further ado, enjoy me destroying my kitchen. Ah, he's a perfectly fine ox. The only disadvantage is we have to chew up his food and spit it in the hole where his mouth used to oh, be. Oh, Jesus Christ. Let me finish. The upside is all he eats is grass, which is free. I choose some grass, I'm starving. That's the spirit, we'll all take turns. Someone always be on grass duty. So this trip's all about chewing grass. For this recipe, I tried to think of what food tastes the most like grass. And of course, I came up with kale. But eating just plain kale would be absolutely disgusting. So we are making a walnut kale pesto. This is definitely the healthiest of these recipes, but it actually tastes pretty good. First, add two cups of kale to a food processor, along with a quarter cup of olive oil, the juice of half a lemon, a clove of garlic, one tablespoon of nutritional yeast, and salt to taste, all of which you can barely see me putting into the food processor. Blend it up until smooth, scraping down the sides if you need to. Then add a quarter cup of walnuts and process until they're ground up. And there you have some delicious chewed up grass to put on pasta or whatever. Woo! This is great! What'd you say this was again, Grandpa? Lobster. Ooh, fancy. What? This isn't lobster, Grandpa. It's baby buffalo. Remember, Craphole murdered it. That's my son, Craphole, the baby killer. So for a buffalo recipe, I decided to make buffalo mashed potatoes because I was really craving mashed potatoes, and I'm the one who has to eat this food. First, wash six to eight Yukon Gold potatoes and cut any large ones in half. Then cover the potatoes in water. Bring to a boil over medium high heat and add a teaspoon of salt. Cook for about 25 minutes until the potatoes easily slide off a fork or knife. Off camera, drain the potatoes and place them back into the pot to evaporate any remaining water. Transfer the potatoes to a large bowl. Mash them with a hand mixer or a potato masher if you actually own one. Then add however much hot sauce you want, some salt, some pepper, some onion powder, and some paprika, which you did not actually measure. Also add four tablespoons of vegan butter, which you did measure. And guys, make sure to hold onto the bowl while you mash it, unlike I did. Now children, why don't you show me the tombstone that you've made for your poor, foolish father? Mm. Pepperoni and Trace. No, no, mom. Pepperoni and cheese. See? Like a pizza. Get it? Do we do good? For this next recipe, I decided not to try and fail at making pizza, thereby disappointing my Neapolitan father. So instead, I made a dish from another part of Italy that I don't have any relatives from. This pizza-flavored risotto is my favorite of these dishes, and it's actually not too hard to make. First, preheat your oven to 375 degrees. Then, heat up a tablespoon of olive oil over medium heat until shimmering. If you have a Dutch oven, you can use that, but if you don't, just use a pot. Then add one chopped up yellow onion and cook for 10 minutes. Realize your closet door is open and everyone can see your foldable grocery cart. Then add two cloves of pressed garlic and cook for a few more minutes until the onions are brown and your apartment starts to smell delicious. Add four cups of broth and bring to a boil over medium high heat. Add a tablespoon of tomato paste with an appropriately sized spoon and a teaspoon or so of sugar and stir together. Transfer the mixture to a casserole dish, spilling it all over the place in the process. Add one and a half cups of arborio rice and a can of diced tomatoes, which you also spill everywhere. Mix together, cover with a lid, and bake for about 45 minutes. While the risotto's in the oven, cook up whatever pizza toppings you want to add. I cooked up some vegan sausage because I do not like pepperoni. Take the risotto out of the oven and add a teaspoon of salt, another cup of broth, a cup of vegan parmesan, 
3 tablespoons of olive oil, some pepper, some oregano, and some basil. Stir for about 3 minutes until it's creamy. Make sure not to be an idiot and put the dish on your hot oven and your burner which you forgot to turn off, thereby burning the bottom of the rice. Meanwhile, contemplate how ugly your floor is. Finally, add your pizza toppings and enjoy. Well, I guess it makes sense that I'm the one dying of dysentery. <laughs> I shouldn't have put all that shit in my mouth. <laughs> Especially that shit. Now we're gonna make some shit, which is actually delicious and makes me really proud because I came up with this recipe completely on my own. First, put one cup of peanut butter and a half cup of chocolate chips into the microwave for 30 seconds. Mix together. If the chocolate still isn't melted, microwave again for 15 second intervals, stirring in between. Then transfer to a different bowl because you don't have any large bowls that aren't metal. Add powdered sugar a half cup at a time until the mixture has about the consistency of Play-Doh. I used about 2 cups, but if you use non-stir peanut butter, then you'll probably need less. Refrigerate for about 15 minutes. Roll into poop shapes and eat way too much of it in one night. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching whatever the fuck this was. If you would like to see more videos, probably not like this one, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And thank you so, so much for helping this channel get to 2,000 subscribers. I literally have less than 100 at the beginning of this year. And also, thank you for watching my Trail to Oregon video. I cannot even comprehend that it has over 200,000 views. Like, oh my god, that's crazy. Bye!